working for the city of Portland as a foreman in the sewer department and foreman of the emergency crews, I have to get to work at approximately 6.40, 6.45 in order to start reading my reports to get the crews out by 8 o'clock in the morning or try to get them out by 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, which is their starting time. I have emergency crews that work seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And the day shift is the largest shift, and their quitting time is 4.30. Well, my quitting time is 4.30 also. So in order to determine from their reports what has to be taken care of, for the following day, I have to be down at this early hour to uh, read and decipher these reports. Well, the question of that has been asked of me uh, at different times in my city career, just like it has a lot of other employees. Why did you go to work for the city? And I uh, took my job strictly on a temporary basis after taking a civil service examination. I went to work for him as a laborer. And the longer I stayed, why, uh, learned the routine and uh, liked the people I worked with and uh, liked my job. And I see that there was opportunity here for a person that did apply himself. And so I eventually took different examinations and a year ago, I was hired as foreman. I've always tried to carry good relationships uh, with the employee. Now that I'm foreman, although it's harder now that I'm foreman to carry on these good relationships because after all, I am the boss now. But I feel I still have good relationships. Uh, somebody wants coffee, why well, they'll always want to match to see who buys and uh, I go along with this. I enjoy it, too. Uh, some of the other foremen uh, share the same idea. And really and truly, uh, I don't know who gets uh, the most benefit out of it, me or uh, the employee. The city of Portland emergency crew is basically the emergency crew for the sewer repair division. When any uh, complaint comes in to the city hall or to Stanton Yard directly, it's emergency crews that are initially sent out to investigate it. We are uh, the super duper snoopers, so to speak. We have to determine uh, who it belongs to and somewhat what has to be done to uh, fix it. Ordinarily, when I get a radio call from my emergency crew out in the field, it's because if they're unable to make an uh, determination or an assessment of what has to be done and it might even be a question of uh, can it wait or is it urgent enough to be taken care of right now and of course the crews uh, don't make this type of decision and then in turn if it's a decision that I feel my supervisor should make then in turn I'll call him on the radio and call him out to the job site also I have a great compassion for the taxpayer uh, owing to the fact that most taxpayers are ignorant as to how their tax dollar is spent and really the functions of the whole governmental body. So when we go out to a job to investigate, 
why they come out and they start asking questions or want to know, well, why don't we do this or why don't we do that? In other words, we're working out in the street and there's still a problem existing up in the yard. Well, uh, this is property owner's responsibility is to fix anything that's on the house side of the curb. And so I explain it to them that I wouldn't want to spend somebody else's tax dollar for them solely, just like I wouldn't spend his for somebody else. If we should make some repairs, it does belong to us. I want to do them. I don't want to finagle him and tell him that, uh, no, it's your problem, you go ahead and fix it. I'd still be willing to do it because we owe it to him, because he has it coming. Well, I enjoy being around the working man, or the blue-collared worker, so to speak. Well, I suppose because I grew from a blue-collared worker, and I have a lot of compassion for these people, especially the ones that try. The taxpayer has a tendency to treat these employees as servants. And I don't feel that the city worker is a servant at all. And I'm a strong believer that if somebody's putting out extra effort, uh, for instance, in working in a dirty sewer, uh, deserves a pat on the back and praise. I don't believe that the average taxpayer realizes uh, some of the dirty jobs and the bad hours that are put in just to do these type of jobs that keeps the city functioning and doing a, a specific job directly for the taxpayer himself. That there he is in there sleeping and he don't even realize that uh, this dirty, nasty job is going on out in the street, uh, which is keeping his basement from being flooded or something like this. And so the next morning, why, uh, the job is all done and nobody gets any praise for it except maybe from what praise I, in turn, can bestow on my men and tell them, well, job well done and I appreciate it. Well, them two here are plugged off. consider myself or I don't feel any different than I uh, was before when I was a blue collar worker. I don't think that a person has to change overnight and I certainly hope that I didn't change overnight and turn into uh, what a lot of people consider a, a tin god or uh, a know-it-all. Well, I just don't think that you have to do this when you become a foreman. 